What's up guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video, <coughs> I want to address my concerns with Season 6 of Apex Legends, and um, as you know, I'm a huge Apex Legends fan, I've been playing this game since Season 1, or since the game came out, and if you don't believe me, here's proof. Season, um, preseason people will know, know what I'm talking about. Here's badges for him. One year anniversary, first week player, played during the, f the first year anniversary. Apex badge, unable, usable with any legend. Um, so, uh, there's your proof. But, my concerns with this game are as canonical right now because they have brought back so many guns. I still love this game, but. There are some concerns I have with the game right now, and some of the things consisting of obviously we all know the overpriced microtransactions, stuff like that. But um, yeah. But um, I'm gonna load into a game, and we're gonna talk about all the stuff that I feel they could change and stuff stuff they can keep the same in season six and season seven, season eight, season nine, season ten of Apex Legends. So let's get into that. Alright guys, so much. Welcome back to the video. Sorry, I thought I was doing the intro. Um, yeah, the problem, the first problem I have with this game right now is the overpriced microtransactions. Overpriced. See, if you guys have ever played Valorant before, you know how f how overpriced their microtransactions are. Transactions. Sorry, their microtransactions are. It's about two hundred dollars for in for a pretty shitty skin. Like weapon skin. And like if you don't believe me, you can look up you can look up how much some microtransactions cost in Valorant. But that, we're not talking about Valorant today. We're talking about um the microtransactions and multiple other things in Apex Legends. So basically heirlooms. If you don't know what they are, they're basically like this game's like like one of the things that make this game different. Like, so you know how you can like hold out, like hold out your fists. Well, basically, what an heirloom is, if you don't know already, heirlooms are basically like different. I don't know how to explain it. They're basically different, like things for each character. Like each character has their own heirloom. So, like I think Wraith has a knife, and um, many more Wraith knife. I think Wraith has a knife. Yeah. Um. Bloodhound has an has an axe. Um, Pathfinder has punching has punching gloves, stuff like that. And it's just they're overpriced. They're like probably one hundred fifty dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. It depends on which one you're buying. And like they're yeah cool. They're really cool, but like they're not enough. They're really not enough. I and mean, you do get them forever. They're not like the Battle pass, like that, we only get it for like, you only get it for three months. But these you get forever. But still, that's three hundred dollars for for one item. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pay money for that. All right, my next concern is ranked. Now, ranked, they did fix ranked in the sense that like, you you can only get five points for kills and all that. They fixed that, but. Like, look, follow my cursor. I'm obviously in silver, but if you look up here, they they did, they did, okay, they did fix the kill thing, but they still capped it at five, but you get an assist points for that too. So it's not completely broken. But here in bronze, okay, look at bronze. It's free, no, no cost of points. You get points for almost every placement past 10. So you get 10 for 10th and 9th, 20 for 8th and 7th, 30 for 6th and 5th, 40 for 4th and 3rd, 60 for 2, and 100 for 1st. Now, if I if, say I have 2 kills, so that's the thing, that's... So, th this is consisting of bronze, so no reduction of points. So, I have two kills. That's 20 points, 30. 
Sorry. Fifty. You can do the math. Sorry, I'm not really like good at math. But like, yeah. You get a lot. You get a decent amount of points compared to someone that gets, say, five kills and gets four kills and assists, and they come tenth. You're gonna get the same amount of points, but you're gonna climb higher because, you, like, say no, say a per, say if someone gets four kills, one assist, and comes eleventh. They are not. They're not getting any points, and. Well, not, they're not gonna get as much points as the dude that camped in a corner with G7 Scout and a Volt SMG and, or Devotion and just did nothing besides sit in a corner and got one kill. Now, obviously, Apex Predator is, Apex Predator, they're, they're god, they're god tier. Sword Masters, eh, I wouldn't say Diamond, Platinum, they're above average, Gold is above average, I'd say Silver is average. And bronze, just you don't either you don't play ranked or you're just trash. So, but like, did just the overprice of the skins in this game? Like, this is where heirlooms are. This is what I was talking about before. Heirlooms are basically like little, they're like little, like, they're like melee weapons. They're melee weapons for each character, each legend in this game. Lifeline, she has drumsticks. Octane has a butterfly knife. Bloodhound has a Axe, Wraith has a kunai, um, Pathfinder has boxing gloves, and Mirage has the sec trophy. Actually, one of the Mirages. But, and not to mention how overpriced the skins are. You need 120 crafting medals to craft the legendary skin. This one's not even that good. The only good Mirage skin is this one. And it's like, it's like some of them, yeah, there's some cool ones like. Reach quarantine seventy two. Their her, her yeah, like most of her skins are pretty cool. Lifeline, she, eh, not really that cool. Gibraltar, I he he has pretty cool skins, but they're not warranted me spending. T what that's let me see. It's around fifty fifty dollars for to get one of them right now. That's not that's not warranted enough. My next thing is crafting now i love the crafting tier i love the crafting thing the crafting system it's amazing it's one of my favorite things they've added to this game but it doesn't like there's no is obviously no less rng is good okay obviously that's a good thing but like the fact that i can just get 100 crafting medals and craft the whole store and have absolutely no rng is pretty 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 annoying when I go against people with devotions, wingmans, what, what, what's in the shop today? It's a wingman. Wingman and skull piercer. It's pretty annoying. And if you, and if you play Apex at all, you know how annoying it is to play against people who are just, just have tons of crafting medals and just, just get, it gets really annoying if I'm being honest. It gets really, really annoying. My next thing is the like outstretch of op of legends in this game. Like there's 14 legends, okay? You have the eight standard, Caustic, Bangalore, Mirage, ba Bloodhound, you know what I'm saying. But like there's, most of them, most of the, most of the eight legends, including Lifeline, Bangalore, Caustic, Mirage, are not really used a lot in high level play. I mean, yes, Lifeline, Caustic, maybe Caustic, that's a maybe for Caustic though, because Caustic is not really, again, that used. But, especially now with the later ones, like, I'm not gonna say Octane is later, he was season one, but he's still, like, he's not that good. He He's never used, and even when they buff people like Mirage, where they added his, like, like, he comes invisible to see when you're reviving and stuff like that. It's, he doesn't do enough to warrant being picked over someone like Wraith, Gibraltar, Bloodhound, Caustic, maybe definitely Watson. Now, in my opinion, the only good, the only there's only two good legends that they've added with a new season, and that is Watson and Crypto. And if you've played both season two and season three, you would know that they came in back to back. 
But season four brought Revan in, which is I'm not gonna lie, he's he's really really good. And if you use him right, that's only if you use him right though. But like the best thing out of him in general is just his skins. Like even then, that's that in my opinion I would not use that. I would use this, maybe this. That's it, Loba. She has pretty cool skins too, but she's not that good. She's really not. Um, Rampart. Now this is a bit controversial because she just came out, but Rampart is not that good in my opinion. I can both. I play passive and um, aggressive sometimes, and I I never use Rampart. I I bought her and I just absolutely never use them. I, her. She's not that good. She her Sheila. Yes, it's good, but it's not good enough for me to want be picking over someone like Caustic or Watson for camping. That's like my opinion on that. And Pathfinder, he they nerfed him. I'm not gonna say nerfed him to the ground because he's still being used at a high level play, but still, he's not that good. Now, I mean, his grapple is still really, really good for mobility and all that, but like. How often are you using a zipline? How often? Be honest with yourself. How often are you using the zipline? Bloodhound, um, let's be honest here. Bloodhound is not really, like, if for being a hunter here, Chief, he's not as good as someone like, but he's, yeah, he is good, because he can, he's one of the only, he's probably, I think, he, him and Crypto are the only two legends that can scan an area out without leaving your area. Maybe Revenant with his death totem, but that's about it. So that's my opinion on the legend problem. Now, now into the gun problem. All right, the gun problem. Now, the guns in this game have a, have a lot of problems, okay? Like a lot of problems. You have the devotion with the problem of just being the devotion, <laughs> just being the devotion in general. Um, you have the fact that they added turbochargers back, which again cements, cements the devotion as the number one ground loot gun in the game. You have, like, just look at this. Yes, the recoil on it is very, very, very bad, but like, you control that recoil, people are dead. And they they added the back obviously for for Rampart because Rampart is has not a loader and um, if you look here she gets look she gets um 41 41 rounds and she gets 50, 55 rounds for devotion and LMGs in general but like they really could add in a new one that's not it's not as good as the devotion but not as bad as like the l-star spitfire and they really the and with the volt smg this gun is just insane it's always used in high level play because it's just it's a beam it, it's insane at close range it's better than any shotgun any smg and then like besides maybe the R99 or Prowler, but that's about it. Even then, it's better than R99 in my opinion. Now, well now because it's well R99, you have a cap on what you can use, and it's kind of in my opinion it's kind of nerfed. Because if you look here, here's the R99 compared to the Volt SMG. Here's the R99. Absolutely, it's been absolutely definitely the best SMG in the game, but. Has abs barely any recoil, but look at the difference between the Volt SMG. Standard Volt SMG. Now, yes, it, do it does have a low ammo capacity. And in my opinion, it could they, they definitely could buff it a little bit with the recoil, like get rid of as much recoil as it has. But look at that. This, this is a gun that came out this season in Apex Legends. You would think after almost a, no, it ha it's been a year. After six seasons and a year of this game being out, they would fix out, they'd be able to fix guns that are broken, but also guns that have a lot of recoil. This gun, yes, it should be in the care package. In my opinion, it should. But, 
Just look at this. And obviously your rampart is obviously really good for doing stuff like this. You can camp in camp a corner out and just go like this. Just sit in here at your Sheila, wait for people to come by. Just wait, just look at the recoil on this thing. Look at that. Especially the fact that you're running this with, with obviously you most likely you're blocking this with she with um Rampart. So and she gets a modded loader obviously. And that's just just insane to me how like this this is even possible. Not to mention that when you're shooting, look at look at this. That's hold up. Twelve damage, right? This is what, what it is with the just, like you get a twenty percent damage output. Which is basically you get basically double, basically double the amount of damage, or um, it increases the amount of damage from you're shooting out of the um, amp cover. Now the care package items are all SS tier. That's a fact, but there's many problems with the peacekeeper. Now, yes, this is the one gun in my opinion that definitely should be in the care package, because no shotgun can do this at range. Two shots. Well, that wasn't two shots, but it also moved. But like, look, this is the mass. Let's use the V8, the best, the second best shotgun in the game. This is a range. 14. Do, do you don't, do, do people not see a problem with this? Like, this gun is basically a sniper. If you guys played OG Season 1 Fortnite, you all know the sniper shotgun. That's this. But the only difference with Fortnite is that they fix that. The, the, like, they fix that within, like, first season. This is just unacceptable. Like, look at this. This is a shotgun that took over a year to get put in the care package. Not to mention you have this weak piece of shit. 15 damage. Now look at this. Let's see hammer points. This is hammer points. Okay. This is no hammer points. Hold up. Break your armor with the peacekeeper. 45. Hammer points. 20 more damage, but you have four shots. No one uses this unless they have to. And it's it gets annoying. It actually does get annoying because this is what we, like we're stuck with. And I love this game. I, I really do. This game is so much fun. But like, it gets annoying. It does get annoying. And stuff like G7 Scout, like look at this. This gun has still been somehow hasn't gotten taken out of the game, and it's just epitome of a terrible gun because it shoots so slow. And even if you like do like your best to mod this thing to make it as best as you can, it's not that good. It will never be that good. You can't. They can't do anything to this gun that would make it any better, any worse than it is. Or any better than people, what, people, what new players think it is. Like, look at this. Yes, it can kill. Oh no, every gun in this game can kill. But it takes a lot of raw talent, it takes aim, it takes practice to keep game knowledge to kill with these trash guns. Like, most of these guns in this game are really fun to use. Seeing this gun like a Spitfire, just do this type of stuff to people is insane. But look, just like it's super slow. It's 36 damage headshot. But look at the peacekeeper. This gun was never buffed. In my, I don't think it was ever buffed. Nor I, th and I think it was nerfed at the time. Well, if it wasn't, now it is because it's in the care package. But like, it just astonishes me that this is what this game is. Like has to deal with on a daily basis and people like there's people stating that the peacekeeper is balanced Look at that 
that's my opinion on the gun on the gun situation. The last thing I want to talk about is kind of touching on what I said at first the microtransactions. This game is an EA game, we all know this. And it's really sad and annoying to see this game have terrible problems with microtransactions and their server and stuff like that. Like servers in this game are, um, I don't want to say terrible, but they are, they, are, they need a lot of work. Like, is it like is it normal for me to load up this game, ha wanting to have a good day, and seeing ten thousand ping on each server? Now, yes, that could be my problem. But why is that? Like every morning, like it's every morning that servers are always peaking. They're always at the top peaking, in the like, troubles. Why is that? It's not because a lot of people are on because there's not. When I looked this up, it was only seven, 70 million players playing this game, which is a lot of players, but, like, that's not enough to make servers crash like as bad as they are. They need to fix the servers, they need to fix the, the excessive microtransactions, they need to fix this paywall. Yes, it's a, EA and um, Respawn are a company. They, are, they need money somehow, but... The amount of the cost of heirlooms, the cost of just in general, the cost of most things in gaming right now are really sad. But this game and Valorant take it to a new level, and it's just it's really annoying and sad too. Now, obviously, I'm not the best player in the world. I'm only gold. I'm only gold level. It's level 66. But I'm decent at the game, and I played this game enough to understand that most of the stuff in this game need to fix. The crafting is amazing, but they need to increase the amount it costs. They need to lower the price of heirlooms. They need to fix the servers. They need to fix the gun problem. They need to fix the legend problem. And obviously, Respawn is a great company. They are way better than um, <clears throat> the Epic Games. But I, that, these are my concerns. And most of the things they're doing right, they're doing amazing. Like. Stuff like this. For example, they have amazing guns. The guns that are or that are decent, they don't have any. Most don't have problems with them. Like, look at these weapon skins. They're insane, but they're they're definitely overpriced. They're one thousand two hundred. Now I can probably see the one thousand two hundred for crafting medals on skins. Obviously not for this. <laughs> not for this, but for like stuff like this. Like this, like that's a good, that's a good skin. This, this quarantine seven two two, amazing. Most of the stuff that they have in this game are super cool, and they put a lot of time in their micro microtransactions and their skins. Like, look at this, that's so cool. And like, I can definitely see that they're doing their best with this game, and I see a lot of, I see a bright future for this game. And in my opinion, they do amazing job at keeping the community satisfied and listening to their community again like another company <clears throat> epic but like look people got really pissed off about the evil shields and how easy the time to kill was they reverted that with a very easy patch and very quick somewhat swiftly like look like this season six came out what two weeks ago they Immediately, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like, or sweeping up on hundred subs. And yeah, have a great day, guys. Peace. And like the server problem, and just in general, most of the stuff can be fixed. And like the servers, like sorry, I was recording. I forgot to record, but um, yeah, the servers are. Really shitty in my opinion. They need to fix the servers. Obviously, the servers aren't completely bad, but they are. They do need a lot of, a lot of work. And like microtransactions are insanely overpriced, but they are doing their best. I can definitely tell them. Response doing their best. Like look, this is a sick skin. This sick skin. This sick skin. 
like this sick skin absolutely insane but like does this mean that they, sh that they need to ha make it so it's completely overpriced absolutely not like most of the stuff in this game costs way too much heirlooms cost over $150 if not more and it's sad that I play this game every day hours a day and and I'm pretty decent I'm playing this game from day, from day one but like I can only pull in 2400 legend tokens in a day now that's a lot granted that is a lot but I don't know they need to fix the server problem they need to fix the gun problem like the peacekeeper I'm not gonna say it should be taken out of the game because it's been in the game since day one everybody loves it but the fact that you can shoot and from a range of an AR's recoil is insanely high and do a hundred damage is pretty sad and I feel like they need if they, if they take these concerns and fix them this game is will be the best game ever in my opinion best battle game ever if they fix this next to Warzone and Fortnite but yeah that's my opinion on this season in general they listen to their community and great them out and Respawn is an amazing company and uh, yeah, that wraps up my video on season six of Apex. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Peace out. See ya. Subscribe and like. Like and well, subscribe and like.